Alrighty guys, we are back at the beer garage with a brand new brew, and today we're going all the way to Lithuania, to right here specifically, because I can't pronounce that. So, I'm a little nervous, I'm going to say that off the bat. This beer is called Effin' Awesome, and you guys might be like, wait a minute, didn't he already review that, and it was like absolutely awful? Cheers! Oh no, oh, oh no, oh! I reviewed a beer called Fuggin' Awesome, and it was, <laughs> it was fucking dog shit. But, so, I saw this on the shelf, and I'm like, you know what, for fun, let's see if this is good, because this is their effing awesome. I'm not sure what the difference is, other than gra grammar. This is a 16% Lithuanian Imperial Lager. With your Imperial beer, obviously it's going to be, it's going to be higher in the alcohol content, it's going to be bolder, it's going to be stronger in the flavor. And of course with your lager, fermented at the bottom of the tanks and then lagered for like two to four weeks, bringing you that lager flavor. Let me go grab my bottle opener and let's crack it. See what we get in the bottle. I mean, in the glass. Oh boy, I'm nervous. <laughs> let's crack this one. No, s Jesus Christ. Yeah, no smoke on the bottle opening. Into the glass we go. <coughs> I just got a whiff of that. Holy fuck, no. No, keep this away from me. The color, as you can see, it's like a strawberry, rhubarb, reddish, orange, sunset type color. The head's gone, obviously, because it is a 16% with your higher alcohol content. It usually eats away at the head. What am I doing to myself? I already know it's going to be awful. Why did I do this? Let's get the scent. It's like I'm putting my nose into an asshole. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 that is just straight up. It's just the sickeningly sweet smell of rot, malt syrup, hop syrup. It's just, there's nothing real. There's nothing real about this beer. <coughs> it smells like if you just like left honey soaked on a loaf of bread in the hot sun for a month. Oh boy, no, <laughs> okay. We got the smell, we got the color. Um, <coughs> dude, I keep getting a whiff and I'm choking on it. Let's, let's get this into my gullet and into my stomach and see what kind of symptoms I get from that. Cheers. Oh, fuck me. Dude, I'm like, I'm seriously like, ugh, I don't wanna do this. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Huh? No. No. I just had a. I just had to fucking spit that into the sink. Buddy. I barely swallowed any of that, and the alcohol already absorbed into my gullet. What the fuck? I need to, like, gather myself. Oh. It's like a, a fucking poached pear. It's like if they po if they fucking co made like a poached pear at a sewer. How do I even begin to explain this? I'd have to be a fucking madman. Okay. According to Google, which I'm thinking Google is a liar, it's supposed to taste tangy, tart, super sweet malts and apple. Ugh. I guess pear. Oh, I don't even give a fuck that I'm wrong. But no, no. I thought that fucking spoiled chili ale was the worst one I've ever had on this channel. Like I said, guys, the bad and spoiled beer keep getting fucking worse. It's like everything about this is rotten flavor. It's like you get like a weird, overly sweet and syrupy wood flavor, but the wood is like rotten, like it's been sitting in the rain. The apple, dude, that fucking, that was an apple back in like 1830. Now who the fuck knows what it is? It's just a black mass of, of mush on the side of the road. It's cloiny. It's sticky. It's like, it's like somebody drank a beer and puked it up. That's what the consistency is. I'm getting gross, guys. I'm going full balls to the wall. I'm not giving this fucking any, I'm not giving this beer any fucking wiggle room. There's no excuse for this. There's no excuse for this. There is no excuse for this. It has like a weird raisin taste in there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Guys, please, if you see this on the shelf, leave the fucking store and never go back to that store again. Fucking effing awesome. Let's rate it. Fuck. 
Color, why am I rating it? I don't even want to rate it. It doesn't, you don't deserve it. I'm already losing my mind. <laughs> Color, I don't even want, what, what, how the fuck is this supposed to look like a lager? Dog vomit, out of 10 for the color. On the scent, stop, make it stop. Make it stop. That is the worst smell I've ever smelled in my entire life. And that's saying something. After last week, where I had to sit through an entire fucking three-hour Dune movie where, where this lady in front of me was wearing perfume that fucking every funeral home uses as their air freshener. This is even worse than that. That's even worse. This is even worse than that lady's funeral home perfume. <sighs> okay, on the taste, I don't even think I rated the smell. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, bro. It's a fucking ampersand out of ten. Let's rate the taste. Just all happiness left my face because I realized, hey, you have a job to do, Patrick. Oh, fuck. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, it's starting. Oh. I'm like dead ass fucking trying not to puke. I'm like not, I'm not over exaggerating. The, ugh, ugh, this reaction. This is worse than fucking awesome. Thank you, Lithuania. That was my review of this garbage effing awesome hey look you get to uh see an exclusive sneak peek of where this beer is going because it's going into a special place excuse the mess i had people over again and wah, goodbye i never like doing that even if, if if it's with a beer that i slightly don't like like i feel bad but you know what that i have the ultimate pleasure of dumping down the drain and up oh, whoops i forgot the rest of the bottle and it weren't there you go goodbye that was the worst beer I've ever had on Pat's Beer Garage. That was my review of that. If you see it on the shelf again, don't ever go back to that store again that sells it. Fuck that place. Oh, fuck. I'll see you back at the beer garage with better beer.